Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we are going to be seeing a nerf and a new champion before it even comes out because he seems to be more powerful than he intended to be. And it is going to be for this champion here. We are on the test server right now, and it is the Misaliac Priest Orn. Now, I did do a video on this guy recently, and I kind of just viewed him as like a regular Poison Banshee, but a lot of you did point out in the comment section that He's going to be a lot better than that because he also has the AoE poisons with the uh, the poison sensitivity, right? So that's going to enable him to be able to also do solo runs and dungeons, which uh, many of the content creators have already portrayed. So I ended up taking out the video anyways because I felt like it wasn't the best quality of a video and I wasn't too happy about, I guess, like the playtesting I did because we just got the playtest server access and I wasn't able to fully playtest through everything out and I just wanted to showcase what I could with what I had, uh, the little time I had available. But uh, I will make sure to do a better job next time of trying to showcase the champions to the full capacity. So I do apologize for that. But he is a lot better than intended. And I thought he was still going to be a solid champion overall because he's still kind of like a Dark Kale, right? In a sense, except he's able to do the AoE placement. But the nerf he's going to be getting is... So I'll have it up here so you guys can see as well. So the A1 originally was doing 30% chance to land the poison buffs or debuffs. But now it's going to be changed to a 15% chance to land the 5% poison debuffs. So that's quite a hit there, right? You're still able to place the poisons and uh, the multi hits is still there and everything, but the percentage is a lot lower, right? Significantly. And for the A3, which is also a huge part of his kit, right? This is also getting touched and this is going to be, instead of a 75%, which will go up to a 100% chance when fully bugged, this is actually gonna be going to a 50% chance from 75 to be able to place two poison debuffs and 15, 25% poison sensitivity debuff for two turns, and that's not including the uh, the books chances. So this is quite a big hit on this guy. And one more thing on top of that is heals this champion by 5% of their max HP for each poison debuff placed by the skill. This is going to be changed to a 1% of their max HP. So this guy is getting hit really hard. It's a it's a really big nerf. I would say. It's even worse than the Eurogram nerf that happened, I'd say. Yeah, he's, in this scenario, I would say he's not, I don't think he'll be a comfortable solo dungeons anymore. Not really uh, fit for that role. And it's just not consistent with the percentages here because before it was really, really consistent with the poisons landing and everything, but now it's just, it's a lot lower. So this is a huge nerf to this champion, which is really unfortunate, but Plarium did say that this champion, I mean, that's kind of what the playtest server is for. So we can test out something out and if it's something is too overpowered, then I guess like they end up changing it before it gets released to the public server, right? Before people end up pulling them, booking them out and you know whatnot. So I guess it's kind of a good thing if you look at it this way that they are nerfing him now instead of nerfing him once he comes out. Because like I said, if people end up using resources to build them, put books into him and want to use him like that, then if he gets nerfed, then everybody's going to be upset. So I, I guess this is better than... Yeah, this is better than nothing, I guess. But yeah, I hope you guys found this informative, guys. Um, this champion is going to be part of the fusion used to fuse the legendary champion. And a lot of people were debating, should I just hold on to this guy? Well, I think you should just go for the legendary fusion at this point. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you enjoy my content, please make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next video.